So this is the Zemi Smart Smart Energy Sensor that I recently purchased and it connects to the Zemi Smart Hub and I have a video on that linked in the description. Um, and I've chosen the Zigbee protocol, it is available as Wi-Fi as well, um, because I'm looking to monitor power usage in Home Assistant. So uh, it uses Zigbee um, to connect to the hub and then that will send the information through to Home Assistant. So it's a, it's a pretty simple device and it, it, not too expensive. I, I purchased this for a thousand Thai baht, which is about 30 uh, US dollars. So it has a, uh, a black and a blue wire and the black wire goes to the live and blue to neutral and that will provide power for the device. And then the cable that you're looking to monitor goes through the center of this device. I resist calling this a clamp meter because my experience with clamp meters is that they clamp around the wire. Uh, this one, you have to unplug the, the main cable. So this was planned to be used with the, uh, the whole house load. So it is the, the main power from my solar system. I don't have a grid connection. So it's the main power from my solar system that will run the house. Um, so it's certainly uh, certainly mini size, 63 amps as the as the maximum. Um, so I'm going to show you now uh, the setup that I've on. It, it was a bit of a faff for me because, as I said, I had to switch all the power off. I had to uh, unplug the cables uh, and then put the sensors in. So the Zemi Smart Smart Energy Sensor uh, connects to my Zemi Smart M1 hub, which is here. Um, I already have some energy monitoring from a company called Momo Space. I have this one here for monitoring the whole house load, and then I have another one here for monitoring one of my EVs. So the, the plan basically is that I'm going to have several of these all connecting to the hub. Um, and you can see that I've got the breakers here for my MG and my BYD EVs. So two of those sensors are going to go in here and the main one for the house um, I've already fitted. Uh, and it, it was a bit of a pain uh, so in here I, I have PEA is the Provincial Electricity Authority of Thailand um, I, don't, I no longer have a meter with them uh, you can see the PEA is uh, that's the grid connection is all switched off and I've given my meter back so, so all the power for the house comes from my solar system um, and that all goes in to this housebreaker um, and and this is the, the the little device up here and you can see it's barely the hole in it is barely enough to get the cable through and then the power for it uh, I've got plugged in there as well so there's a little a little indicator light on there and uh, the QR code underneath it for adding it and once you've done that you can add it as a sub device to the hub as I say a bit of a pain had to switch off the electrics faffing around with the cables to try and get it all in there so we've now connected the Zemi Smart M1 hub and the power monitoring device to the Tuya app and you can see the hub is listed 
there in the mechanical room and it underneath that you have the sub devices so it's it's a zigbee hub and any zigbee devices will be listed in the sub devices and you can see the house meter is here and this shows us the current voltage and power and we've also got access to history as well but the problem with an app is that you have to find it on your phone and open it up to check what the power usage in the house that's why I will be moving to home assistant so I've included here the um, this is the current power usage and this is the history so this will be um, on display and I'll be able to check as I walk past to be able to see um, what the power usage of the house is and I can set alarms if the power usage is too high or too low and obviously I've got the uh, access to the history as well but it's uh, this will be uh, on permanent display as opposed to having to dig through an app to get access to it.